All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 36. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to first start with x to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 36. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the power of 3 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 36 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n, right? And n and m and n here, these two are interchangeable, meaning these this is also equal to a to the power of n times m. So if a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n, and a to the power of n times m is the same thing as a to the power of m times n, this means that this is also equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So in simpler terms, a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So in this case, I have x to the power of x to the power of 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 36 to the power of 3. And I can think of x to the power of 3 here as m and 3 here as n. So if a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m, then this means I can change the places of these two. So now I have x to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 3. And this is equal to 36 to the power of 3. Now 36 here, this is the same thing as 6 to the power of 2. So now I have x to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 6 to the power of 2 to the power of 3. And now again, remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 6 to the power of 2 to the power of 3, that's going to equal 6 to the power of 2 times 3, which is simply 6. So I have 6 to the power of 6. Now I'm going to, sorry. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, a is x to the power of 3. So I have x to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 3. a to the power of a is equal to b is 6. So 6 to the power of 6. So in this case, a is equal to b. So x to the power of 3 is equal to 6, meaning x is equal to the cube root of 6. All right, so in this problem, I have x minus 3 squared <coughs> is equal to x squared. So to solve this, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with x minus 3 squared is equal to x squared. Then I'm going to subtract x squared on both sides. So now I have x minus 3 squared minus x squared is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x minus 3 and b is x. So I have x minus 3 plus x times x minus 3 minus x. And this is equal to 0. So what we have to do is simplify this. So for x minus 3 plus x, I'm going to add these two x's. So now I have 2x, and then I have minus 3 at the end, times for x minus 3 minus x. Cancel out the x and negative x. So now I'm left with negative 3 is equal to 0. So now, if I go ahead and distribute this negative 3, 
Negative three times two x is negative six x. Negative three times negative three is positive nine is equal to zero. So I subtract nine on both sides. I get negative six is equal to nine. Sorry, negative six is equal to negative nine. And then I divide both sides by negative six. And I get x is equal to three over two. Now, another way I could do this is I'm actually going to write this up here. I have two X minus three times negative three is equal to zero. This time I can actually divide both sides by negative three. So I get two X minus three is equal to zero. So two X is equal to three and X is equal to three over two. So that's two different subparts of solving this and three over two is my solution. All right, so in this problem, I have X to the power of X is equal to two to the power of 2048. So to solve this problem, I absolutely want to find the value of X. So for my solution, First start with x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. And now I'm going to write 2048 here as 2 times 1024. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, a is two, m is two, and n is 1024. So if I rewrite this in this form, I get two to the power of two to the power of 1024. And remember, this is equal to x to the power of x. Now, 2 to the power of 2, and that's equal to 4. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 1024. Now, I'm going to repeat what I did just did again. So 1024, that's equal to 2 times 512. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 2 times 512. And again, this is equal to x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 512. 4 to the power of 2 is 16, so I have x to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of 512. Now 512 I can rewrite as 256 times 2. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of 2 times 256. Now this, I'm going to do the same thing again. So I have 16 to the power of 2 to the power of 256. And 16 to the power of 2, that's equal to 256. So now x to the power of x is equal to 256 to the power of 256. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, x is equal to 256. And to test this, I'm going to plug this in. So I have 256 in for x. So I have 256 to the power of 256 is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. And remember, we just wrote all of this, so we know that 2 to the power of 2048 is equal to 2 to the power of 2048.